I'm Lindsay Ward and this is your 10 News Saturday update. In the midst of the live severe storm coverage, we brought you the story of the Anderson family whose home was devastated by the tornado which ripped through Franklin County. Today we went back to the Andersons while the National Weather Service surveyed the damage. The Andersons friends and family are already picking up what Mother Nature has sent flying. The National Weather Service says the tornado reached speeds of more than 150 miles an hour. The massive storm system that passed through the south claimed the lives of at least four people, including an eight year old girl. As the nasty weather moves away, people in Alabama, Mississippi and many other southern states are stuck, flooded out of major roads and cars tired deep in mud. About 180,000 people are without power and many without homes left at all. Almost all of the weather related deaths were due to trees falling into mobile homes. Exactly 20 years ago today, two students shot and killed 13 people at Columbine High School. The Littleton, Colorado community continues to honor the memory of those lost with special vigils. Among those mourning are people who could have died that day. Survivors have also been contacted by students affected by the deadly shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. They say their best advice for those affected by this violence is to give yourself time to grieve, but never let someone steal your joy. Remember, you can always get your news, weather and sports on the go with WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm Lindsay Ward, 10 News, working for you.